if you have a cushion, a pillow or yoga block, maybe grab one and sit yourself right on top of it in a cross-legged position. That's how we're gonna begin. So you're just crossing your legs, elevating your hips a little bit with your cushion, potentially. We always want to have our knees either at the same height as the hips or even a little bit lower, whatever is possible. I'm just taking some time here to settle in. And when you're there, just close your eyes for a few moments. Your hands are lightly onto your knees or maybe into your lap. You start to lengthen through your spine. Your face is soft. Taking away the tension in your jaw. And just gently pulling your belly in. Gently tucking the chin towards your chest. And just begin to breathe. Observing your own breath. And noticing how your breath moves through your body today. Because that's different every single day. And your breath gives you all the signs of what's going on for you. So all we do right now is taking a few mindful moments to check in with your breath. Does it feel soft and easy? Or does it feel short, tensed, tight somewhere? And can you allow your breath to just move slowly and easily? like a wave rippling through your body. And that wave starts and fills up down in your lower belly, boils up to the surface, your chest and collarbones. And then gently rolls all the way back down. Every time relaxing your shoulders a little bit more. Keep following your wave. Maybe starting your ujjayi breath, if you have that in your practice, which is that rough noise in the back of your throat, slightly constricting the back of the throat. As if you want to make sure that you're the person next to you, that imaginary person would hear your breath, normal inhales, and a bit rougher exhales. In and out through the nose. Allowing your sitting bones to ground your legs to relax. And give yourself permission to arrive on your mat here.
Feel your skin. And with your eyes closed, becoming aware of the outside layer of your body. Follow it with your attention. Feel the touch of the air on that skin. You may be able to look at yourself from a little distance. Seeing that outside layer. The physical that you are. And all the sensations that come with the physical. And then you slowly bring your awareness to the inside. The inside of you, what's beneath the physical. What emotions do you feel? What sparkle? What fire? Where is your soul? And what do you experience beneath the surface? What are you and who are you when nobody's watching? And letting for today's practice that be our intention. Connecting with what is beneath the surface. Every move we make, allowing ourselves to look within, feel within, and connect with that deeper part of ourselves. Take the deepest breath in through your nose. And with an exhale, sigh it out through your mouth. Sorry, just slowly open up your eyes. Coming back here into your space. Welcoming you all to class today. And I see Lottie has joined as well. Hey, love. <laughs> With your next inhale, you're going to take your arms up high to the sky. Inhale. And try to make it a really good stretch. Very active. So when you're here, pull the navel in, the ribs in. Lift your heart and your chest. And reach through the fingertips as if someone's pulling them up towards the sky. Even further. Inhale. And then with an exhale, bring the right hand down to your mat. So to bend into your elbow, just a simple side stretch. Draw the right shoulder forwards, left shoulder backwards. So you open up the heart towards the sky. And then take your breath into that side body. Give those ribs some space. With an exhale, go a little bit deeper if you can. And take that right shoulder away from your ear. One more inhale. Exhale, hang into it. Last breath in, rise all the way back up. Lengthen again. And with your exhale, take a twist to the other side. So left hand behind your back, right hand in front of the knee. Long spine, looking over your left shoulder. Pull the belly in still, trying to twist really from that belly button. Take a deep breath in, lengthen all the way up through the crown of the head. And with your exhale, slowly come back to center. <sighs> Other side, inhale, rise, lengthen. With an exhale, left hand down, bend into your elbow, reach over. Opening your heart up. Finding space in the side body. And maybe look up towards your upper arm. Every inhale, you lengthen through your fingertips. Every exhale, go a little bit deeper if you can. Really opening up, filling the space. And then take an inhale to rise back up to sky. Exhale, twist to your right. Keep the back long. 
the neck long, your chin is slightly tucked. One last breath in. And with your exhale, slowly come back to center. And if you had a block or a cushion, take it away from underneath. But keep it within hand reach. We may need it at some point. And roll straight onto hands and knees. Tabletop. Spreading your fingers nice and wide. Hands are stacked directly underneath your shoulders. Knees directly underneath your hips. And you want to tuck your toes here probably. Now with your next inhale, bring the belly down towards the earth. Lift your heart forward. Open the chest and the head goes back into your neck. With your exhale, you're going to round the spine, pull the belly in, chin towards your chest, and really pushing the floor away with your hands. Strong core. Inhale back to your arch, open. Exhale to round. Inhale to open. Exhale. And keep that movement going. Breath. Maybe closing your eyes. Just allowing yourself to feel into that very basic movement. <sighs> Connecting breath and movement together. If intuition here. If your body wants to go in any other direction, making circles or any other shape, feel free to go there. As long as you stay connected to your breathing. Well, just allow yourself to flow however your body is craving right now. And there's no right or wrong. You can't do it wrong here. It's just about connecting with yourself and finding the funky shapes. That your body wants to make. Last breath in. And with your exhale, slowly come back to center. And then just shoot your, to begin, your right leg backwards and your left arm forwards. And when we're here, think about pressing the floor away with the right hand and pulling the belly up in towards your spine and lift the back leg a little bit higher. Take a deep breath in, lengthen through your back heel and your front fingers. With your exhale, round the spine, bring knee into elbow <clears throat> and really round. Good. Strong core. Inhale, extend again. Square your hips. Exhale, pull it in, round. Inhale, extend. Exhale, bring it in. One more time. Inhale to extend. And this time with your exhale, bend your back knee. Swing your left hand around and grab a hold of it lifting the back knee up by kind of pressing the foot into the hand strong core and then try to open your chest out towards the left keep lifting the knee carry it higher good inhale and then slowly bring your left hand down extend your right leg back again and all you got to do is drop the foot turn your left toes out coming on to your left hand and lifting the right hand up towards the sky supported side plank now you want to squeeze your glutes in and kind of press the hips forwards and open you press the back foot deeply into your mat <clears throat> and then you may take your right hand all the way overhead so you start to feel that good side stretch again <sighs> keep it active Press into your left hand. Last breath in. And with an exhale, slowly come back down into center. Tabletop. <clears throat> Feel free to shake it out any way it's needed. <clears throat> and then we take it to the other side. So you're going to shoot your left leg backwards, flexing the foot. Extend the right hand forwards. Pull the belt into your side. Out here. Inhale, lengthen and reach. Exhale, knee to elbow, crunch. Inhale, extend. 
Exhale, knee to elbow. Inhale. Good. Exhale. Wake up that core. Last one. Inhale, extend. We're going to exhale, bend the knee. Swing the hand around. Grab a hold of your foot or ankle. Then press the foot into the hand to lift the knee as high as you can. And then open the heart through the right. Strong in the left hand to keep your balance. Strong in your core as well to keep your balance. And stay with your breath. Inhale. Exhale. And then slowly release your right hand down. Extend the left leg back again. Drop the foot. And then you lift your right toes off. Turn them around. Supported side plank. Lift the left hand up. And I think about again squeezing the glutes, hips forward. So you feel the opening through the front side of the hips. And you may take the left hand all the way overhead to find that deeper stretch. And try not to collapse into the right shoulder. Push it away from you actively. Good. And last breath in. And with your exhale, slowly left hand down. Come back to center. Tuck your toes. Inhale to lift your knees off the mat. Exhale for downward facing dog. And feel free to bring your intuition back in here. So you can stay still. Start to find a down dog or you can bring in some movement. Rippling through your knees. Feel free to ripple a few times forwards into a high plank if that's what you want. Just again, spreading your fingers as wide as possible and putting some extra pressure on the L shape between your thumb and index finger. Start to press the heels down to your mat in that down dog. The hips come up high. And start to work your, your head towards your toes, pressing it gently through the shoulders. And feel free to bend your knees a little bit. That really helps to create that long line into your spine. And then give your head a good shake here. The back of the neck is soft. Arms are really strong, keep pushing. One more deep breath in. With an exhale, out through your mouth. Let's do that one more time. Let it go. Inhale. Exhale. Good. Inhale. Lift your heels. Look in between your hands and start to step your feet all the way forwards. Top of your mat. Planting your feet about here with a part. Bending slightly into your knees. Grab a hold of your opposite elbows and finding a nice and easy forward fold. And just hanging there. Finding the heaviness into your upper body. And again, feel free to bend the knees a little bit. You really want to be able to release into your lower back. And take your moment here again in this forward fold where we're just letting go, hanging upside down to tune in with whatever is underneath the surface for you. Last breath in. And exhale, let your arms go. And bend your knees, bring your big toes together. And scoop your hands over the floor, coming straight into Utkatasana chair pose. Sinking the hips nice and low. And think about Michael Jackson here. So just like Michael, kind of tuck the tailbone underneath and forwards. Pulling the belly in. Roll the shoulders away from your ears. And bring the weight onto your back foot. If this is too much for the shoulders, you always have an option to bring the hands onto your hips. Sink a little lower even, squeeze the glutes. You got it, ladies. One more inhale. 
And then slowly rise up, exhale. Keep the hands up, inhale, lengthen. Now with your exhale, bring your right hand down towards the side, lean in, just like we did at the start, seated. We're now doing it on the top of the mat. Inhale, rise back up. Exhale, other side. Lean in and really open through that side body, feel it. Allow the hips to hang into that direction. Inhale to rise back up. And then exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Lengthen through your spine. Exhale to fold. Inhale, Utkatasana again. Swing the arms up. Exhale to soften down. Inhale to rise. We're going to do that a few rounds. Exhale, side stretch. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, other side. Inhale, rise. Exhale, dive it forwards. Inhale, flat back, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Bend knees, Utkatasana. Inhale. Exhale, sink lower. Inhale, rise. Exhale, side. Feel free to start to follow your own breath. Inhale. Exhale. One more round. Inhale. Exhale, dive forward. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, fold. Utkatasana, chair pose. Inhale. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, rise. This was the last one. Exhale, side. Inhale up. Exhale. Inhale up. And exhale, dive in forwards. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. And this time with your exhale, fold. Plunge your hands and step your feet back into a high plank. In that high plank, fingers spread wide underneath your shoulders, push the floor away. We're not collapsing into the shoulders, we're pushing up actively. Draw your tailbone under, engage your core, press the heels backwards. Feel your core fire up. Taking another breath in, bear with me. Exhale, last inhale. And with your exhale, bring your knees down to your mat. And start to lower your upper body down as well while you keep the elbows tucked in towards your body. Release. Untuck your toes, but keep the big toes together. Swing your arms behind your back. Interlock your fingers. Now keep your gaze down to your mat so you keep your neck long. You're going to lift your chest up. And then you lift your hands away from your buttocks. Finding a good shoulder stretch and a good back strength. Exercise. Now, if you want to take this a little further, lift the feet off the mat as well. Keep pointing your toes away from you. Locust pose. Good. One more inhale. Lift both hands higher. And then slowly release it down. <laughs> hands come underneath your shoulders. Inhale, baby cobra. Lift the heart. Exhale, lower down. Two more like that. Inhale, baby cobra. Exhale. Last one. Follow your breath. Inhale. Exhale. Tuck your toes under. Press yourself back up through your plank and then downward facing dog. Deep inhale. Exhale. Let it go. One more. Inhale. Exhale. Now lift your right leg high up towards the sky. Press the left heel down into your mat. Bring the belly closer to your thigh. Square your shoulders. And lift the back leg up as high as you can. One more breath in. And then with your exhale, draw the knee in towards your nose. Tiger curl. Hover here for a moment. Pull it up and in towards you. Try not to hover it too low. So actively pulling it up and in. Press into the hands. Inhale. And with your exhale, step the right foot in between your hands. Stacking right knee on top of ankle. Back knee comes down. 
Rise up. Anjaniasana, low lunge here. Melting into your hips, so we're not in a 90 degree. You're trying to melt the hips forwards and down. Draw your tailbone underneath. Open the heart, shoulders roll back and down the spine. And press into your big right toe for balance. Pull the belly in, your ribs come in. Super strong core. You want to feel that really nice stretch into your left hip flexor and into the right hip. You may interlock your hands here. Shoot the index fingers up and try to lean back a little bit more. Keep your core engaged to melt the hips down and forwards. Open your heart. Go underneath the surface. Notice what's happening out there. One more breath in. And with an exhale, bring your hands down to your mat. Now keeping the right foot flat on the floor, you're gonna bring the hips backwards. Extend the right leg, feeling a really good stretch here. Back of the right leg and probably through the kind of, I don't even know what that muscle is called, that shin muscle. Drawing your right hip backwards, your left hip forwards. And then see if you can fall a little bit further down. Stay with the sensations in that leg. And then with an inhale, lift your heart up. Bring the body back forwards, making sure you have your back toe tucked. We're gonna lift that one up, low lunge. And from here, inhale, rise the arms up. Exhale, high lunge. Melting down into that lunge. Keep your strong, try to press the kneecap up. Right knee stacked on top of ankle, again, 90 degrees. And here as well, think about drawing that tailbone forwards and under. Arms are active, and if you need to, they can always be onto your hips. Now adding a little bit more effort here, starting to take a deep breath in to reach the fingertips a little higher. And with an exhale, start to shoot the arms forwards as far as you can and then all the way into aeroplane lunge. And when we're here opening up our hearts, shoulders roll back and down, pull the belly in away from your thigh and your fingers shoot back actively. Keep the back heel up, strong into your right glute. You got it ladies. I feel it too, don't worry. <laughs> Inhale, rise the arms back up. And with your exhale, drop left heel in warrior two. <sighs> Your warrior two, knee again on the ankle, open the hips, extend your arms. Draw the tailbone forwards and under. You wanna make sure you wanna see that big right toe from the inside of your knee. Working that right knee out to the right. Relax your shoulders. Find your inner strength here. Flipping the palm, inhale, reverse. Stay bend into the right knee. Again, finding that side body opening. We're having a lot of those today. Deep breath in. With an exhale, extend your right leg. And then start to reach the right hand forwards and down for Trikonasana. Opening the left hand up towards the sky. Staying exactly where you are, extending both legs as much as possible. And you have an option if it's too deep to bring the hand down to have the hand onto your shin, of course. Trying to twist open and drawing the right hip underneath. Last breath in, last breath out. And then press into both feet to rise up all the way to star pose. Five-pointed start, turn the right toes into your side. Inhale, open and lengthen. Exhale, goddess pose, sink into your hips, hands to your heart. Open the knees out actively. Here as well, draw your tailbone under. We're kind of trying not to stick our bums out too much. Bring it underneath the body and then open wider. <sighs> sink a little lower. And if you wanna add some challenge today, lift your heels. Good. 
inhale exhale drop the heels inhale rise the arms now with your exhale a little transition here we're gonna go to the backs of our mat so you're gonna turn onto your pivot onto your left foot pointing the whole body towards the back of your mat hands come into your heart twisted lunge so crossing your right elbow over your left knee your left elbow points up to the sky so you should all be looking backwards now yeah so no need to look at the screen just trust my words keep the back leg strong melt your hips a little lower and with your next inhale bring the arms up high high lunge and with your exhale hands down to the mat step back for a high plank and a little vinyasa flow or feel free to go straight into downward facing dog lowering yourself down inhale cobra and exhale for downward facing dog deep breath in exhale one more last one inhale exhale now we're gonna come back to the front the exact same way as we turned around same sequence just breath to movement so follow my cues and find your own breath if you want to inhale lift your right leg high to sky exhale knee to nose step right foot forward in between the hands back knee down low lunge anjini asana arms come up exhale hands down straight away keep the right sole of the foot down shoot the hips back the runner's lunge forward fold inhale move back forwards lift your back knee off the mat high lunge again inhale exhale for that aeroplane variation shoot the arms behind you chest forwards active fingers inhale arms back up high lunge exhale warrior two <sighs> inhale flip palm reverse exhale for triangle <sighs> right hand down to the mat or your shin open the left fingertips up inhale five pointed star through your left side exhale goddess pose sink it down <sighs> inhale arms up exhale pivot again finding that funny twisted lunge straight away now that's a tough transition but give it a go good inhale arms rise up exhale hands down to your mats vinyasa flow or step back for downward facing dog up to you maybe up dog exhale down dog <sighs> good i'm gonna do that on the other side as well of course first round slowly taking our time finding the poses second round movement to breath so inhale lift your left leg high to sky press the right heel down square your hips and shoulders keep pressing into your hands one more inhale exhale knee to nose hover here pull the knee into your chest and press firmly into your hands one more breath and then step your left foot in between your hands back knee down to your mats <clears throat> inhale arms up exhale melt your hips forward finding that good kind of stretch into the right hip flexor into your left hip pull the belly in arms are up or onto the hips up to you keeping your core strong just to protect your lower back here every exhale you melt a little deeper feel free to interlock your fingers here and find space into the heart as well looking up towards the sky slightly palms together tune in with that inside of you 
take out that superficial outside layer and go a level deeper. How does it feel to be in that place? Last breath in. Exhale, hands down to your mat. Keep the left sole of the foot down. Hips back, extend the left leg as much as possible. It seems so easy, but funny enough, this is a very, for me at least, a super uncomfortable pose. That shin muscle is really, really sore, actually. Keep drawing your left hip backwards, right hip forwards, and fold maybe all the way down. One more inhale. Exhale. Then inhale, move back forwards. Make sure your back toe is tucked. Lift the back knee, low lunge. When you're ready, strong feet rise up. Inhale. Exhale to melt. Find your alignment, knee and ankle, back kneecap, strong. Draw tailbone forwards, strong core. <sighs> melt a little lower if you can. Find your strength. Put a little smile on your face. Inhale, reach through your fingers. With an exhale, shoot the hands all the way forwards. And behind you into aeroplane variation. Keep the neck long, belly away from your thigh. Good. Inhale, rise back up. Exhale, warrior two. Bending deep into your left knee. Draw the hips under. And just open that left knee out to your left. Strong arms. Roll the shoulders soft for once. <sighs> Pressing the outer edge of your right foot into your mat. And then take an inhale to flip the palm. Reverse your warrior. <sighs> Keep the left knee as bent as possible. And breathe in between the ribs here. Give them space there. Inhale. With an exhale, extending left leg. Finding your trikonasana any way you like. Maybe a hand down, maybe a hand onto your shin. Reaching all the way up, lengthening through the right fingertips. And drawing your left hip under this time. You want to have the whole body in between two walls. If that's hard, you have to come up a little bit higher. Actively pressing both feet down into your mats. And then take a breath in. Take your left knee off the lock. Inhale, rise up. Turn the toes in. Five-pointed star. Lengthen. Inhale. Exhale, goddess pose. Work the knees out and open again. Sorry, I'm turning my back on all of you. Nothing personal. <laughs> again, focus on the outer edges of your feet and then maybe lift your heels off the mat if you want to. Find those hips open. Squeeze the glutes. Inhale. Exhale, heels down. Inhale, rising arms up. Exhale, finding that transition into your Back faced twisted lunge. Left elbow crosses over the right knee. Your right knee is bent, right elbow points up to sky. Left leg is strong and straight. Good. Trying to bring the hands closer into your heart center. And then take an inhale to rise both arms up. Exhale, hands down to the earth. Optional vinyasa flow or take downward dog. I'm starting to move through these flows any way that feels good for you. Again, just tuning in with your body however it wants to move today. Last breath before we start to move with our breath. <sighs> there we go. Same sequence. Left side again. Left leg high. Inhale. Exhale. Knee to nose. Step left foot forwards. Back knee comes down. Inhale. Arms up. Low lunge. Anjuniyasana. 
Exhale, hands down to your mats. Inhale, shoot the hips back, left leg straight. Exhale, come back forwards. Lift your back knee off the mat. Inhale, rise, high lunge. Exhale, aeroplane variation. Inhale, arms up, rise. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, flip palm reverse. Exhale, triangle. Open up, straight legs. Inhale, both arms up. Turn to toes. Exhale, hands to heart. Sink it down, goddess. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, turn your right toes back forwards. Find that twisted lunge. Good. Take your time for this one. I know it's a tough one. Look up towards the ceiling. And then inhale to rise up again with the arms. Exhale, hands down, vinyasa, or downward facing dog. Good, deep breath in. Exhale. Inhale, lift your heels, look in between your hands, step or flow, top of our mats. Coming halfway lift, inhale. Exhale to fold. Bend your knees, rise up all the way to standing. Maybe finding a little back bend here, squeeze your glutes. Exhale, hands to your heart. Roll the shoulders back and down the spine. Draw your tailbone under. Keep your thumbs connected with your heart space. Close your eyes for a moment. Go within. Feel your heart beat there. Just really try to connect with whatever is there when nobody else is watching. Who are you underneath the surface? Now what comes out if we're not so afraid to be rejected from the outside world? Last breath in. And let it go, exhale. Eyes open, inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Step back, downward dog. One more time. Movement your breath. Same sequence. We're going to just play around a little bit with it, adding a few more poses. Lift your right leg high. Inhale. Exhale, knee to nose. So we're doing right leg again. Inhale, right leg high. One more time this time. And then exhale, step right foot forwards in between your hands. Back knee down, you know the sequence now. Inhale, arms up, open. Exhale, hands down. <sighs> Inhale, shoot the hips back, extend the front leg. Exhale, come back forward. <sighs> Lift the back knee off. Inhale, rise. Exhale, aeroplane variation. Now here we're going to add something. When your fingers are shooting backwards and you feel strong into your front leg, optional to maybe lift the back leg of finding your aeroplane, full aeroplane pose here. Keeping your balance. Keeping your hips squared. Lift your chest forwards. Good. And now as slow as you can, start to bend into your right knee and drop your back foot back down <sighs> with control. Good. Inhale, arms rise. Exhale, warrior two. <sighs> Inhale, flip palm reverse. Exhale for trikonasana. <sighs> Inhale. Exhale to rise up. Inhale, lengthen, star pose. Exhale, hands to heart. Now, optional here to lift those heels or keep them down. It's up to you. Wherever you are, bring your arms behind you as if you're going for that aeroplane and see if you can bring your upper body parallel to the floor. 
Keep lifting your heart. Belly is in. Stay deep into your hips. Good. Heels down if you had them up. Rise back up. Inhale. Now this time with your exhale, we're not going towards the backs of our mats. We're taking that twisted lunge to the front of our mats. Pointing the elbow up. And then bring your gaze down to your mat, towards our right foot. Bring your left hand down to the mat as well, finding that basic twist here. And then you start to heel toe the right foot, out to the right, coming onto both outer edges of your feet. And then with your breath, inhale, hips sink down, elbow comes in. Exhale, lift the hips, extend the right arm overhead. Inhale down. Exhale, lift. Inhale. Deep hip opener. Exhale. One more. Inhale. Exhale. And then bring your right hand down to your mat. Step back. High plank. Vinyasa or downward facing dog. Taking two breaths here, and then we'll take it to the other side, and then I promise we'll slow it down. But it's all meant to be a little bit more challenging today for you to be able to take the outside layer off and just focus on the inside, just focusing on the poses. When you're ready, left side, there we go. Inhale, left leg high. Make it flow, knee to nose, exhale. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale, left foot forward in between your hands. Back knee down. Inhale, arms up, low lunge. Exhale, hands down. No stopping in between. We keep going. Inhale. Exhale, come forward. Inhale, lift the back knee. Finding your balance there. Stay. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, aeroplane. If you tried it on the other side, give it a go here as well. Weight onto your left leg, lifting the back leg off. Full aeroplane. And really try to keep your hips squared here. So drop your right hip a little further down. Pull the belly into your spine. Shoulders away from your ears. And then start to bend into your standing leg. Drop your right foot behind you. <sighs> Inhale, arms up. Good. Exhale, warrior two. <sighs> Inhale, flip, palm reverse. You know where we're going. Exhale, triangle. <sighs> Open it up. Press into your feet. Inhale, rise up. Star pose. Exhale, hands to your heart. <sighs> Let's quickly turn around for this one. So same thing, lifting your heels if you wanted to. And I'll bring your arms into that aeroplane mode. Start to bring your upper body parallel to the earth. Go deeper into your hips. Keep your neck long, gazing down. Good. One more breath. Exhale. Heels down. Inhale, rise up all the way. Now with your exhale, back to the front, turning left toes forwards, finding that twisted lunge. That's all right. And then when you're ready, bring your gaze down and then the right hand comes down as well, finding a basic twist. And from here, you start to heel toe left foot, halfway out, coming into both outer edges of the feet. There we go again. Inhale, hips sink down, elbow comes in. Exhale, open, express it. Inhale, exhale. Strong right arm, inhale. Exhale, last one. And exhale, open. Left hand down, last vinyasa for today if you want. Whew. Make it a good one. Flow it out. 
Oh, you've reached your down dog. Straight away, knees down to the mat. Outer edges of the mat. Sink the hips down, wide like a child's pose. <sighs> Walk your hands forwards, drop your forehead down. And relax. Notice the difference of all that hard work and suddenly you can let go. Allow yourself to do so. Finding the softness back in your body. Feeling the contrast. Active and passive. Strong versus soft. Here you can let everything go. Mm. Allowing your breath to be deep down into your belly. And feel free to bring the knees out even wider if you want to give your inner thighs that bigger stretch. Make sure you can relax. Your shoulders are soft, neck is soft. Elbows are resting on the earth. Your fingertips are touching the floor, but the palm of your hand is just rounding over the mat. And every exhale is an opportunity for you to let go a little bit more. Mm. Last breath in. And with your exhale, press up into your hands and walk the hands towards your body. I want to keep your knees though. The same way they are, like pointing outside, big toes are still together. Bring your hands behind you straight away, planting the palms firmly down and see if you can lift your hips up away from the floor, opening through the front side of your body. Squeezing the glutes and really pre pressing the hips up and open, opening through your heart space. And feel free to release your head all the way backwards. Deep breath in. And exhale, slowly release the hips back down. Good. Hands come back in front of you. Bring your knees back into the center. And then come back into down dog one more time. Notice the extra space that you have now into your down dog compared to the very first one you did today. And then lift your right leg high to sky. Inhale. With an exhale, you're going to step your right foot to the outer edge of your right hand. Allowing your hips to melt here nice and deep. Feel free to rock a few times backwards, forwards. And when you're ready, bring the back knee down. And you have options. You may come onto your forearms if you have the space or if that's just too deep for you. As you can see, it is for me. You may want to take a block here underneath or a cushion. And just allowing that right hip to melt open. Relaxing your upper body, finding that lizard. Using your breath to create space. Gently planting the palms down again, pressing yourself up if you were down. Now keep your left hand down. Just take the right hand on the inside of the right knee and I'll turn a little bit so you can see a little bit better. And from here, you're going to gently press that right knee away from you so the sole of the right foot comes off the mat. And you kind of open your chest in towards that direction and keep allowing your hips to melt. I want to feel it into that hip space. 
you're on the outer edge of your right foot. See if you can straighten the right arm. And look up to the right side. Last breath in. And slowly let it go. Coming back to the center. Lifting your back knee off the mat. Step back. Downward dog. And just pedal it out a little bit. Feel free, if you want to, to just take another vinyasa flow, if that's what you need right now, feel free to do that. And otherwise, just paddle it out a little bit into that down dog. And when you're ready, let's take your own pace, other side, lifting your left leg high to sky, inhale. Exhale, step left foot outside of the left hand. Wiggling your back foot out. Just giving yourself a moment first to kind of melt here into the hips to begin before you bring the back knee down. And once you've got that, come into the forearms. If you have the space, otherwise don't worry. You can always just stay up here. As long as you feel it into the left hip, inside of the thigh, or maybe the hip flexor on the right side, wherever you feel it. Now this part, we're still trying to keep the sole of the left foot down into the mat. Melt a little bit deeper. And then slowly come back up into your hands. Keep the right hand down this time. Left hand inside of left knee and just open, gently pressing that knee away from you allowing the sole of the left foot to come off your mat. And keep melting the hips down, let go into that hip space, that's your challenge. Last breath in. And slowly release, hands down, step back for down dog one more time. And just pedal it out, last vinyasa if that's what you need. And whenever you're ready, you bring your knees down to your mat, swing the legs forwards and get yourself ready for Shavasana straight away. Stretching your legs out, rolling onto your back. Your feet spaced, your hands and arms spaced. Settle in. Feel free to grab any prop or cushion underneath the knees or underneath your head or wear something warm if you feel like you're cooling down. And then just take your time. <sighs> to let your body get heavy. Rest. Thank you. 
Never trust a mirror, for a mirror always lies. It makes you think that all your worth can be seen from the outside. Never trust a mirror. It only shows you what's skin deep. You can't see how your eyelids flutter when you're drifting off to sleep. It doesn't show you what the world sees when you're only being you or how your eyes just light up while you're loving what you do. It doesn't capture when you're smiling or no one else can see and your reflection cannot tell you everything you mean to me. Never trust a mirror for it only shows your skin and if you think that it dictates your worth, it's about time you looked within. And just slowly start to move that physical part of you again. But stay connected to the inside. Know that they are one. There's more to you than your skin. Wiggling toes, fingers, maybe giving yourself a good stretch. And then hug your knees into towards your chest. And just roll over to your favorite side. Dropping the knees and just taking a last moment on your side there. And whenever you're ready, make your way up with your eyes closed to a seated cross-legged position. Bring your hands in front of your heart. Or actually bring them onto your heart, placing one hand onto the heart and the other hand on top of the first hand. Take a few more deep breaths into your palms. Letting go of that outside layer. And going a step further, a step deeper. You're more than just your skin. And bring your hands, palms together, thumbs in between the eyebrows, bowing down and forwards in gratitude for coming on to the mat today. Hopefully feeling a little bit more connected to the deeper side of you, that soul level, because that's who you really are and that's who matters. Namaste.